Hey, good morning. It is a bright and chilly morning here in Northwest Pennsylvania. And uh, as usual, I'm just sharing with you things I found that were worth what I paid for them and made my life easier, which is my measure of the cool factor. I'm not out to impress anybody but me. Um, today, um, you pr you've probably heard me talk about Murphy. You've seen other videos of Murphy. Murphy is a Kubota RTV 900 that is our pack horse mule for firewood, working on the orchard, pretty much anything else that needs to be hauled around. Um, well, not necessarily cheaper than a pickup truck, but it can certainly go places a pickup truck can't go. And uh, it's also kind of cheaper to run, really. So I'm going to show you my roof rack, that I, or hood rack, I should say, that I got for it, and uh, explain some of the things why I like it. And if you were thinking about buying one, you really should have a choice, because it took me quite a while to find the second one, other than the one uh, that Kubota was promoting, which will cost you more. So here we go. Click. All right. There's Murphy's front end, and you can see that Murphy has a hood rack. And this hood rack is really kind of cool. Um, it's all aluminum. It has a really nice hardened finish on it that hangs in there. It's pretty darn tough. Um, this little piece of foam, all I had some left over, and I stuck it there because I was just getting kind of silly. And that worked out just fine for me. In the back section here, it's fastening by bolting on to the ROPS. Now, here is one thing. Apparently, Kubota has different diameters for this tube, which the first set of hinges I got, this piece here, didn't fit. Uh, went back to the company, and before the end of the week, I had the parts I needed in the mail. They were really great about it. So depending on how you order, you might just measure your ROPS and say, hey, by the way, my ROPS is this diameter, so you'll get the, first, the right piece the first time. You'll see the standard like PTO style pins here. Well, I'll talk a little bit about those about in a minute. I'll get back to you. All right. Coming forward, you can see it goes around the, well, the way they intend it to go on. Some folks have put it on differently. It goes around the front of the grill guard, which means I have to be kind of gentle ramming trees. And again, it's just using U-bolts and the like. You're not compromising anything by clipping it on. Now, the beauty of this is, first of all, they give you three different sets of these. So, you know, you get, um, you're, you're sure to get something that's going to fit and reach over. Okay. Also, this is a universal mount. What you can't see very well back here is this is designed, as far as the width is concerned, let's see if I can get a shot of that. Oh, yeah. you got different bolt holes here. So if your ROPS or your geometry on your utility vehicle is different than my utility vehicle, this width goes out from left to right. So you can adjust it. The arms give you that front to back adjustment. These give you that left to right adjustment. Yep, same thing on the back bolt. I don't know how well you can see that, but we try. Anyway, so it really is a universal solution. It works sweetly. These bolts up on top are staggered. You got another hole here. That gives you some nice fine increments on the left and right. I think roughly a half inch or a quarter inch because of the way they staggered them. Pretty sweet. The welds are really nice. This is aluminum. Anybody who's welded aluminum before knows it's a pain in the butt. Um, but they actually did a, a nice job on it. Also by design you see that they rest on a shelf. The aluminum, is, the welds are really holding it laterally. That little shelf is supporting the weight there. So by design, they did a pretty sweet job putting this puppy together. Okay, I was talking about the pins. If you want to get under the hood, you're going to go, hey, Al, I want to get under the hood because that's where I keep my stuff. Well, I understand. You take the pins out, left pin, right pin, this whole front section hinges down. It sets on the ground. You can get your stuff. When you're done getting your stuff, hinge it back up, put your stuff back there. And you're going to go, well, hey, Al, um, how am I supposed to see where I'm going with all that stuff up there? This is the part I was worried about. And this is where I'm pleasantly surprised.
I've got the camera at eye level. Actually, there. You can see right over it. Um, what can I say? It appears that the um, your butt and the way this Murphy, the, the this ATV rides, your head is well above that um, your view angle. And I intentionally put my saw case right there to make it as bad as possible. But I can still see underneath it to get a sense if I'm nudging my hood up against something. I can still see. Another nice benefit is with that there, at night when I'm driving with the lights on, I get less light reflected back in my eyes. It, it actually does a nice job, so it's got another fringe benefit there. So that's pretty sweet. Hey, there I am. Anyway, this works very well for me, and I, and I just wanted to share it with you. Now, this is made by Great Day Incorporated, so it'd be greatdayinc.com. I'll put a link on the website. And um, there's the cat. Nice thing, another Benny for this, is it's made in Louisiana, which last time I checked is in the United States. It's made in America. And that's like a really cool thing. We'll climb out of here. Uh, so many people are farming so much stuff overseas. Oh, in the name of competition, which is the American way, but at some point we're killing ourselves. So here it is, and that is the Great Day Inc. hood rack. Thank you. Bye-bye.